non-forced passive breathing. We inhale and exhale based on just our diaphragm contracting for the inhale and then releasing, relaxing, and forcing the air out for our exhale. And we do this in a 40 to 60 percent ratio of time, 40 percent on inhale, 60 on exhale. But when we add resistance through our vocal cords, tongue, soft palate, lips, um, the, the airflow is slower and it needs more force to get out. So we have to increase the volume of airflow in order to make sound to speak. So we have to go above our tidal volume, our normal tidal volume, and have increased volume called inspiratory reserve volume to bring us up to our inspiratory capacity. Now, in order to get up to that inspiratory capacity, we have to recruit additional um, accessory inspiratory muscles in the neck, chest, back, including the sternocleidomastoid that pulls your sternum up anteriorly, your external intercostals and your ribs that open laterally, open up your ribs, your pecs and your trapezius that pull everything up superiorly and open it up, leaving more volume, um, less pressure, more air comes in. Now, the air, all, once it's all in, we have such high subglottal pressure that it wants to be released. Our diaphragm wants to relax and punch it all back, but we have to stop that because we go from a 40-60 ratio to a 10-90 ratio. So 10% bring all the air in and then we just need to spend 90% of the time exhaling. So we have to stop the air from leaving with a process we call checking. Now checking, we use all of those inspiratory muscles. You keep them contracted to keep all that space open and slowly, slowly, slowly let them relax and release back down to here. Inspiratory reserve volume. So you continue to exhale even more while you're talking and that is by uh, using accessory expiratory muscles that are mostly in your abdomen, some of your inner, your in, internal intercostal.